Hi, I'm Miss Joy and welcome to In The Bag Kids Crafts. And today crafting with me is Ella, yay! Oh, Ella, I'm so excited that you're here today. Remember what we talked about that we're gonna make? You wanna show everyone what we're gonna make today? Mm -hmm. All right, so. The pouch. The pouch, yeah. So this is not just any flower, it's actually a little pouch. And we're gonna show you every single step that you need to do to make this little flower pouch. And to get the supplies, you'll see them in the description. And as always, they are part of all of the things that we keep in our bag. Did you know that we keep 27 things in the bag, Ella? Mm -hmm. And we, we craft with those all the time. We never go to any other supplies. So once you put stuff in your bag, you're ready to make crafts with us. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. All right, so you wanna tell me a little about yourself? Um, let's see, what's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, oh, and you have a little pinkish purple on your shirt. I, I don't have any pink on me today. Oh, but I didn't make pink in my flower. Um, and how old are you? Um, six. Six. Oh, six is a great age. And I can't wait for us to make a craft together. So stick around and you're gonna find out how to make our flower pouches. Here are the supplies you're going to need to make the flower pouch. And as always, all of the items on this list are part of our master list of craft supplies that we use for every single creative project here at In The Bag Kids Crafts. That way, once you fill your bag, you're ready to craft along. Go ahead and pause this so you can take a minute to gather all the things you'll need to make the flower pouch with us. Little flower pouch, we need two paper plates. And we're gonna make a daisy. So go ahead and get your pencil, Ella. I am gonna use a marker so you guys can see what we're doing, but um, you can use a pencil so then you can erase it later. So across the top, we want to just kind of like make the top of our, so we're going to draw a little line and then when we get to the center, we're going to do like a little bump. This is the center of our flower. And then we'll do the rest of the line across. Okay, just like that. Yeah, perfect. Nice. All right, so that little bump is like where the yellow of our flower will be. Now this is kind of a little bit challenging. We're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut it out. And paper plates can be a little bit hard to cut and you might need to smush it and make it flat. And that's all right. It'll unsmush when we're done. Remember you made yours in pencil so you can erase any lines later if you want to. Doing a great job, Bella. I can't get through. <laughs> there you go, you got it. Cutting a plate is a little bit challenging, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes I will cut off the extra bit of plate, like just right across to get rid of that extraness. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna show you on Ella's real quick. See so it. see this extra bit? Sometimes it's easier if we just kind of get rid of that. Um. All right, so try that. And I heard your sister say something and she's totally right. You can smush it more if you want. Okay, so you can go ahead and smush it. Yeah, and that makes it flatter. Yeah, very good. Okay, so for the back part, if you're going to decorate both sides, you can go ahead and trace it and do it the same way. But if you just wanna decorate the front, we can just do a straight line across. How's that sound? If we just do a straight line? Yeah. So let's kind of mark, and again, you're gonna use your pencil. I'm gonna make a little line here and I'm just gonna show where my line goes straight across like that. And I can connect that, right? Because we're not going to do the hump this time. It's going to make cutting so much easier. All right. So can you do that, Ella? So we're going to line them up nice. There we go. Make sure it's totally lined up so that when we put them together, there we go. She's going to draw her line across. There we go. Awesome. Go all the way to the other side. 
Oh, nice work. And now she has a line that she'll connect and we can cut straight across. So if you want to decorate both sides, you'll put the hump in again, like you did on the front side. But if you just want the back to be plain, we can just cut it straight across. Much easier to cut straight across too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> These are hard to work with. It is. Paper plates are a little bit hard to cut. So sometimes you just have to be really patient, right? You're doing a great job. I like it. All right, we can get rid of all our extra little pieces. And here is what we need. We need this part so that we can decorate it. So you'll notice that we are putting it bottom side up. So we're on the part that we can color real easy because it's not glossy. And we're gonna use markers to decorate ours, but you can use paint or crayons or colored pencils. But we're gonna go ahead and pull our markers out. And whatever color, you can just decorate your flower. We're gonna do the center first. We're gonna do this little round part first. I think I'm gonna make mine pink. Yeah, I'm gonna do a pink center. Oh, yeah. this looks like glow in the dark. Oh, it does, kind of neon, huh? So these are little pips, they're from Crayola. I always keep these in because they have a fun container that I didn't pull out, but it's a nice little carrier container. Nice job. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's a nice bright flower. And now that we have that done, you have your pencil, so you can use your pencil if you want and just draw petals and then trace them. Or you can just go ahead and go straight to your marker and use the marker. I like to put some dots in. Oh, awesome. I like that. You can make it look however you want. And I'm just going to make plain white petals, but if you want to decorate your petals, you can do that too. I actually think too, I'm gonna to do a little line around the outside. Now you'll notice that as we are making our flowers, they don't look the same. And I love that because every flower is different and every person is unique too. So we wanna make our flower however we want, right? Mm -hmm. You can make it however you want. Wait, how do we make the petals? Away? Okay, so look at this. I made just a big half circle that came out like this. And you can use your pencil and then trace it with your marker later. And then I just keep doing that same shape. Yeah. And I'm going to do it until there's no more space left. There you go. Perfect. All right. Do another one right beside it. So you can come down here like this. Zoop. Big zoop. Yeah. Nice. There you go. Yeah. And every time it goes right back up to the center of the flower. So your petals can look however you want. They can be little petals, they can be big petals. Nice job. So once you have a few, you can go ahead and go over them with marker. You know what you can also do? You can literally, if it's hard to make petals, you can just draw lines down like this. Just down, down, right? You could just draw lines like this. And that looks like petals too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then if I did that, I could make little circles at the bottom if I wanted, just like that. That might actually be an easier way to do it. Hmm, I haven't thought about this way before. It kind of looks like petals too, huh? Yeah, so you can make your petals however you want. That was the back of my plate.
Good job. Ella, that's beautiful. I love it. All right, so to make our flowers into a pouch, we just need to connect. So I only have one stapler, so we're gonna share. So I'm gonna start and then I'll pass it to you. All right, so you kinda have to, I line up the top first and then get a staple on each side so then it can't get out of the way. So we're gonna put one there and then we'll go over to this side. I will put one here. And we may are making daisies, but you could make any kind of flower that you want. So you could make a tulip or what else? What other kind of flowers are there, Ella? Uh, violet, roses. Yeah, oh, a rose would be so pretty, wouldn't it? Dandelions. Dandelions, oh, that would be fun. How could we make it all fluffy? I'm gonna make a dandelion. That would be a fun thing, huh? So there's all kinds of fun flowers you can make. And I'll show you a picture of some. So we're just gonna put one here, and then one here, and then all the way around the rest of the way. If you need help holding it, just ask a friend, hey, can you help me hold? Ella, would you like a hand holding it while you staple? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it for Miss Ella while she puts a staple there. Last one. Okay, nice job. Oof. Do you feel like you got a workout? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was, that was a little bit of a workout, but we got it, okay? And now, this is gonna be another workout. We're gonna squeeze hard because it's gonna have to go through two layers. Oh gosh. We need, <laughs> we need to make holes for our handles. So you get to smush your plate together and kind of put it in there, ready? And I'm gonna squeeze hard. Did a good job. <laughs> all right, all right, so we have our holes made and it needs one last thing, which is a handle so that we can carry our pouch around, okay? And then later, if you decide you wanna add more things, you have the backs. Remember I added petals? Maybe I'll decorate the back later. I don't know, or maybe I'll just write my name or maybe I'll draw a picture later. Maybe I'll draw rainbows and unicorns or whatever I want. All right, so for our handle, we already went ahead and cut five pieces of yarn and they're about a yard long and they're all together. And to keep them together, we're gonna make one knot right in the middle, okay? So we're gonna take the middle, wrap it around our fingers and make a knot just like that. Pull it right through and just Tie a big knot. There you go. That's right. We made our holes a little bigger so that we can kind of get all these five ends in there. So we're gonna take the ends and we're gonna kind of twist them so that they are like all together like this. And then I like to put mine through the back coming out to the front. 
And if one of them, see how like one of my strings didn't wanna come through, I'm gonna have to, there we go, I got them now. Okay, so now I have them all out the front. Yeah, sometimes you only get one through at a time. All right, so we have all five pieces out like this, okay? And we wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. Pull it nice and smooth, sometimes they get all. And now our end, we're gonna make another little knot like we did before, just with the end. Oh, nope, this end, right here. The one that's through. We're gonna make, and it kind of like, we're gonna leave some sticking out like this. Okay, so we're gonna make a little knot you just get all five through the knot. Well, almost. Okay. I'm going to show you again, okay? So we're going to do the other side. So, and sometimes if it's going to, if it pulls through the hole, you're going to make two knots so that it's bigger, so it can't pull through the hole. Okay, it depends on how big you made your hole. All right, I'm going to show you with the other side again, Ella, so you can see. Oh, she's got it. She's got it. This is a bad knot. <laughs> it's okay, so see, sometimes you have ones that didn't pull through. You're just gonna pull that one and pull it through too. All right, and that's okay. There we go, that's not a bad knot. That's a great knot. You did a good job. I think that looks beautiful. All right, so my other side, I'm gonna do the exact same way. I'm gonna kind of twist it so that I can get it through. And then I'm gonna push it through the hole, just like that. Yep, same way. Make sure you got all five, right? Yeah. She's gonna do hers one at a time, that's a good idea. Yeah, because one's bigger. Yeah, one's a little longer than the rest. We're gonna fix that later. So notice we did another knot like that. I can't get them all put around. <laughs> Do what you can. Let's see. Oh, there. Sometimes you get to watch for them to come out the other side and grab them when you can. There you go. Okay. Let's try another one. All right, you did a good job making a knot on the other side. Let's make a knot right there. And just like I did before, I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers and put the end through the hole. I'll get all five strings and then pull tight, just like that. Good, try again. You almost got it, you almost got it. Ready, let's try it again. Wrap around. You got it, you got it. Sometimes one of those strings gets, like, decides it has like its own thing it wants to do, right? And it's like, I'm not going through there. <laughs> Good job. There we go, pull tight. Nice. So these extra ones that got caught, we're just gonna pull them out just like that. Good job. So you have your little handle there. And see how we ended up with like, kind of extra long strings down at the end. Some, oh, sorry. Some of them kind of like end up, like some of them are longer and some of them, that happens to everyone's. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we'll take our scissors and I still want a little bit of string left and we're just gonna kind of snip across so they're all even. We'll get rid of those extra little pieces. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna do mine over here. There we go. So we have our pouches all done. Oh my goodness, you worked really hard for that, Ella. <laughs> you like had like a whole workout doing the staples and the whole bunch. But I really like how it turned out. That's really cute. Thank you so much for crafting with us. And I hope that you'll come back again. So Ella, what are you gonna put in your fancy little flower pouch? What do you think? Uh, 
I don't know, maybe um like Korean pencil. Oh yeah, things. more craft supplies so we can make more things, right? Yeah. Well, I can't wait. And don't forget to follow and subscribe. And if you need the supplies for this craft, they are right in the description. So fill your bag and craft along. Thanks so much for crafting with me today, Ella. You did a great job. Yeah.